Let me show you the simplest way for taking all the data from your old iPhone and transferring it to your new iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, or iPhone 14 Max. This is the simplest process and it will transfer everything, including your cell phone number with the eSIM, your WhatsApp messages, and all your photos. Now, if your iPhone 14 was turned on and you set it up as a new phone, you do have to reset it because the transfer takes place right after you unbox your phone. So if you did set it up, go ahead and erase it. I'll show you that. But if you haven't set it up yet, the rest of the video will show you how to do that. Go to settings, go to general, and then go all the way to the bottom here, reset iPhone, click this, and you wanna erase all content and settings here and set this up as a brand new iPhone, okay? So if you already set it up, you do have to continue and erase everything. Then we'll take everything from our old iPhone and transfer it here on the new iPhone from the very first setup page, right after I unbox it. And as usual, to turn on the iPhone, press and hold here on the side. And let me walk you through the setup process. So go ahead and slide up here and then choose your language, choose your region. Now here, if you wanna set this up manually, meaning set this up as a new phone, you could go ahead and do that, or you could bring in your old iPhone near it. So let me bring this old iPhone near it here. Now when I bring in a new phone, I'm gonna get set up new phone message on the old iPhone, you see that? And if you don't get this, just make sure your Wi-Fi is connected here and you should get that message as long as they're close to each other here. And I'm gonna unlock to continue. I'm gonna hold here while it's connecting. It's gonna use the same Apple ID. Next, I gotta hold this phone over this phone and scan this little area here. And then it should take me to this page. It says set up for me. So if you wanna set up for a child, you could do that, but I'm gonna set up for me here. And it's gonna ask me the passcode from the old phone. The new phone doesn't have one yet. I'll put the passcode. And then because this has an eSIM, not a physical SIM card that you could remove and transfer over, it's gonna say activating your eSIM. So this happened at my cell phone provider here, but if it hasn't happened for you, it's gonna pop up with a phone number here and you'll select it and it's gonna connect it. And it's been set up for me, again, because I set this up through my cell phone provider. If you don't get a message like this, make sure your phone number pops up here. As long as they're close to each other, it's gonna deactivate your old SIM card here and activate the new eSIM, which is not a physical SIM card. Press continue. Then you could set up your face ID. I'll just set this up later. And then here you have two options. You could download from iCloud. So that will make sure this phone uploads everything to iCloud. Even if you don't have enough space, it's gonna give you enough space. But I like to use this option that just skips iCloud altogether. So I have Wi-Fi enabled here, but I'm not gonna upload anything to iCloud. I'm gonna choose this one. I'll go ahead and click it. I'll agree. And it says, make this your new iPhone. So it took everything from this phone and it's gonna transfer it. It hasn't transferred yet, but I could go ahead and press continue here. And this whole time I'm making sure I keep this old iPhone near the new one so the transfer could take place here. And again, I have Wi-Fi by default turned on here. And you should finally, after about a minute or so, see a screen that says transferring data from this iPhone to your new iPhone. This is really all you have to do. And the estimated time is gonna actually go up. So this may take a while. I have quite a bit, maybe over 100 gigabytes on this old iPhone. So this will take a bit of time. But in my experience, it's pretty close to the iCloud method with much less steps. You don't have to back up to iCloud here. It's just transferring physically from this phone to this phone. So I'll let you know how long it takes. Again, I have 100 gigs of data here. It's gonna transfer everything including WhatsApp messages and pretty much everything that is on this phone, including passwords. I'll let you know when it's done. It took roughly 38 minutes on this transfer here. And this one is still coming on, so I'm gonna let this come on, but the transfer has been complete. But everything is still on this old phone, so you do have to reset this. But right now, you have the exact same things on both phones. And when you unlock this phone, it's gonna say erase this phone. You could go ahead and continue if you wanna do that, or you could press not now, just to make sure you have everything the same. As you could see, a lot of my apps here, if I go to a different page, a lot of my apps are still downloading here. So I gotta make sure all my widgets, all my apps download. If you decide to erase the old phone, go to settings here. You should have a message here that says erase, so you could go ahead and get started from here. And if you had any issues with your cell phone setup, go to the settings of the new phone right here. For cell phone, just click right here on their cell. And this is where you could connect with your existing provider 
or you could add an eSIM. So you no longer need a physical SIM with iPhone 14 and later.